So check this out real quick. Now here's the problem. For the longest time, people argue, oh, it's just entertainment. Oh, it's just a movie. Oh, it's just art. But clearly, if you even look at the caption on Instagram, Converse is knowingly doing this. And they're talking about the use of the pentagram and all that kind of stuff. So they know what they're doing. It's not an accident. It's not, oh, this is artistic. It's not, oh, we were just going for this dark kind of feel. And so there's a spirit that's behind it. That's why people need to wake up and realize, no, it's not just entertainment. No, it's not just a movie. No, it's not just okay to be bringing just anything in my house or putting anything on my body. My body is what? A temple, right? And so I can't just let anything in. I can't just listen to any type of music. I can't just watch anything. I can't just, you know, have any kind of stuff in my house because there's spirits behind it. That's just the bottom line that you got to realize. There's a demonic spirit that influenced them to go in that direction. It's no different than in the Old Testament when uh, they were building idols and things like that to these false gods, demonic spirits influencing. And so in today's day and age, yes, people through the music, through entertainment, it's almost like we're doing the same thing except we're not building with statues. People are allowing this stuff to be built up in their heart, built up in their uh, their mind, built up in their home, built up in their spirit. Because realize, just like with preaching, right? When you go to church, you open yourself up uh, and to get a download from whatever, you know, the man of God, woman of God is preaching. When you go to the movies, you open yourself up and that movie's coming in. When you listen to music, you open your ear gates and music is coming in. So this is not something to just think, oh, it's no big deal. I'm gonna let my kids still wear Converse. As believers, I don't see how you can still rock it. And here's how you know it's an issue, right? If you can't let go of it. If you see what they're doing and you say, hey, you know, I'm still going to rock the Converse, it might be an idol to you. A lot of times people make excuses and it's, it's, you know, it's like they just, I can't let it go. You know it's an issue. For me, and this is just, you know, I ain't judging nobody else. For me, I see that, man, my Converse shoe is going in the garbage. Period. And you got to realize that this is happening on a lot of fronts. Right. When it was happening with the LGBTQ, you know, people were talking about it. I was talking about warning about it for like eight, nine years. People always oh, no big deal. It's no big deal. They just want to get married. They just want to love who they want to love. And now, oh, no, it's all over the schools. You'll get canceled if you say anything against them. If you don't bow down, you know, they're going to come at you. People getting fired from jobs, all kinds of stuff. So realize it is a big deal. I remember in, when this stuff was like in the um, the hard rock kind of songs back in the day, especially in the black community, it was quick to be like, man, that's demonic when they were dressing all crazy and stuff. But now I see this stuff with a lot of these young kids. They, they like that dark uh, kind of look, that dark kind of art, them dark kind of movies and stuff. And the kids are real moody. And it's not just white kids. It's all kinds of kids. Why? Because there's a spirit behind this kind of stuff. So don't just think, oh, yeah, it's, it's no big deal. It's a big deal. You better pay attention.